Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful planet Earth, in this new time that we're beginning today of four weeks before Christmas and time of coming into the dark and the coming to the light, all the festivals of light this time of year, the winter solstice, the Hanukkah, uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve, and then into the new year. All of these, uh, we had Diwali last month and so many different celebrations of light. And today we celebrate this gathering, collecting, beginning to go into the dark. So here on the East Coast of America, it starts getting dark now around uh, 3.30 or 4 o'clock uh, in the afternoon, which is 1600, I think, in Europe. And uh, yeah, 1600 and 1530. And, we feel that darkness and that cold coming in. And there's this wonderful sense of uh, gathering and collecting. The thoughts begin to collect. The, uh, even in this pandemic where things are so stretched out and timeless, we begin to collect and the cold contracts and we see the leaves off of the trees now here and the roots and all that's going on we are imagining underneath the earth the hibernation of the animal kingdom and all of the mineral kingdom in the in this darkness beginning to thrive in in a collected way going down, going dark, going in. And this is such a precious time to go in and to reap the rewards of our silence, of our ability to collect and to be inward. And so in, in a continuation of our work with this introduction to the gesture sequence. We've worked the last few weeks with the vertical gesture and today we begin our work perfectly timed uh, in a surprising way to me, uh, working with this horizontal gesture, which is uh, a gesture of the four directions. It's a gesture of the cross. It's a gesture, I don't like to put words into other people's mouths about what the gesture feels like or looks like or senses like, but there is an un, uh, well, an undoing of the vertical into the horizontal. And that is going from the heights and the depths into this world wideness, the family of uh, this life of all peoples on the planet, this family of, it's a, the great equalizer, we could say. And it is, you'll see, I think when you do it, uh, with me, it brings a sense of humility. And if we haven't been humbled by this year already, uh, this is a kind of being humbled in a good way. In the way that allows us to go inside and to feel the, what I call the either the temple of the heart or the cave of the heart. And 
there's so, so very much we can say about this gesture. But I think just to feel it is something you will find uh, as a great treasure for your life uh, in these next four weeks of becoming, of moving into the dark and expanding out into the light. So uh, let's begin by standing. I'm in my small space, which uh, gives us a sense of coziness, uh, but also has limitations. <laughs> so we'll begin by standing. I'm sorry you can't have the full vertical, um, but this is the way that the recordings are taking place. So coming down, down, down. We've used our hands before. <clears throat> and sometimes we've imagined the head as a cave filled with water. And we breathe, we feel our feet, and we begin to sort of drain that water or flush the system, flush, sweep, the water through the torso, breathing, creating more and more spaciousness and quietude as the water comes through and then goes into the two rivers of the legs, into and through the feet. And we sweep three times down, just following our hands in our peripheral vision, sweeping, making more space as the water cleanses, revivifies, goes into all the nooks and crannies, all the little places that we don't think of or sense so often, but the water just eases anything that was working over time. Too much work. That's nice. And coming down into the feet. And with the feet, building our roots into the earth. Really imagining those roots deeply down, down, down through the middle of the foot and then out around the feet in big circles. The roots that go deep, deep down and the roots that are more on the surface, but they are supporters, balancers in the four directions. And so when we begin this gesture, we begin by placing our left hand on our feeling center, on our chest, where there are thousands of brain neurons that are in the chest as they are in the gut. We get information from these places. It goes directly to the brain, to the right hemisphere. And then we bring the right hand on top. And then maybe we take a moment because we feel how this whole hand gesture, how it lays on the chest. We can say hello in there. Are you okay? I'm with you. I'm for you. I'm in you. And we breathe. And so one imagination we have with this gesture is this, there's a beautiful um, image that I saw when I was in Chartres Cathedral where I went many, many times in the past. And 
there is a stone carving. There's stone carvings all over the front of the four directions of the cathedral. And this is a carving of the story of God creating Adam, the first man. And it's this picture, this image of God breathing life into the first human being. Now it's someone else's picture, but it's such a beautiful picture to think of this, this or an angel or this vast being, we have no idea the name for us, but this idea of this coming from behind, these, these great wings, this and coming to life. And that's the picture I like to have for myself. You can create any, anyone breathing life into you as you like, but we'll start with this gesture. But to prepare for that, we've done our standing. We come to the golden ball as we've been preparing over the weeks so that we bring our right foot forward and that golden ball begins to move us forward and backward and we follow that golden ball so that we're moving from a place that's rooted to the ground the root going downward and now we bring our hands here in this gesture and we begin to bring that imagination of being breathed open like a flower and between the shoulder blades behind the heart I call it the back door to the heart or the second heart or the heart behind the heart. And imagine that there's a line of breath that starts behind us and breathes us until the chest begins to swell. We breathe in, the chest swells and releases the hands from behind. And they open like petals of a flower. The left heel is lifted as we come forward, as we did in our last two videos. And we feel the four directions, the ground of the vertical gestures of last week into this open horizontal gesture where we're breathing easily and we're feeling this beautiful horizon, this all through from the fingers of one hand through the chest and over to the fingers of the other and then way out beyond those fingers expanding without stretching but letting our senses go out to the side and as we come back following the golden ball we're breathing in and the chest begins to form a cave, the heart, and magnet, like magnets, draw the hands to the cave of the heart. The whole back is round. Both feet are on the ground and the head bows itself. There's a whole concavity here and we, we breathe easily here in silence, sensing the gesture, listening to the gesture, and beginning to breathe in, we rise, we sense the air breathing us out. The chest swells and releases the hands and arms. It releases us into the openness 
of the four directions, above, below, left and right, open, not too open so that your chest isn't puffing out in the front because then the back is closed. You want to be very neutral, as much neutrality. That's why we have that vertical gesture holding us. So we're not bending when we stand. And once again, breathing out. I'll show you the side concavity. Rising and breathing in. And resting. Sensing that simple, small journey. Going inside, sensing that quiet. Journeying into the, dot, the depths of silence. We'll do one last one together, I love the number three has an amazing stability to it and a progression of a process. And this time I'll just say the breathing ins and outs. And of course we know when we're full on in the gesture, we breathe easily. So my right foot's forward just a half a step the golden balls leading me. I have the image of being breathed. The chest swells and releases. Here we go. Breathing in. Breathing easily here. Breathing out. Breathing easily. Rising, breathing in. Thank you for your attention. That's the first half of the horizontal gesture. Have a beautiful week of appreciating the dark, the silence, the earth, the 
crystals, the stones, the seashells, and even our bones.